Rick's Tool Time. Hello and welcome to Rick's Tool Time. This week is going to be a little bit different from previous times. Several weeks back when demonstrating the continuity of a small mocked up circuit to showcase hidden test points on various Wago connectors, I may have mentioned that removing safety tips to access the test points would violate the guidelines in GS38. And it's true, it would. However, I may have swapped out the TIS859 probes for another, and upon release of the tool time, well, here at eFix, we have always described Mark from TIS as a gentle, kind, and softly spoken individual. Nothing has changed. That statement still holds true. However, when he rang me from the warmth of his VIP box at Ellen Road while I was standing in the cold North Stand area, what he did mention to me was that we didn't need to switch out the test probes to access the test points on the Wago connectors, nor would I have to violate any safety guidelines. All I need to do is simply remove the threaded tips, reducing the tip diameter from 4mm to 2mm, and this will allow access into the test locations on the connectors. Upon receiving this information, I had to take a real deep look at myself in the mirror and say, you've got this, I'm confident and capable, today's a new day and full of possibilities. I splashed my face and realised I need to right my wrongs, first by creating this video and secondly, which is most important, issuing myself with an eFix Historical Society sticker, stating that I was wrong to switch out that TIS859 probes due to my negligence and lack of product knowledge. So here we have it. Apologies Mark. I too now have a sticker that states I was wrong within the workshop which is sitting above gardens. With the apology out of the way, let's recap on the continuity tests with the TIS859. So here we have it. If I just pop these back and we'll just check, make sure we're getting continuity between these. You can see, there we have it. But if we just take off this tip on the end, which isn't stated in the manual, or not that I can find anyways. If we just remove them by unscrewing them, just pop them there for now. And if I clamp on to the end of here, if I just probe on to the 221 in there, we get the continuity sound on that one. Then if we just move across to the 221 in line here, we can probe on the top there. And again, we get continuity moving across onto the 222 connector. The test position is here. And there we go, we get sound. And then we'll move across onto the 2273 connector where the test point is just on the ends here. I'll see if I can get these in there without breaking this jig. Oh, there we go. But continuity on that one. And let's say we want to test our heat link here. Let me just remove that lid and test on these connections. We're straight in there. So it then allows us to get into the smallest of spaces. So let me know, what do you think? Is it great or is it a gimmick? Get your votes in, but till then, I'll see you on the flip side. Tada. Apologise. It's not even in the manual. Rick's Jubal Time.